Bob, how uh, how excited are you, man? You got your uh, one of your prize guys, Vasily Lomachenko. You got him on free TV, ESPN. The numbers Pacquiao did were great. Now you know a crap load more people are gonna watch him. Absolutely, I mean, it's great for the fighters and it's great for the sport. ESPN is gonna present boxing the way boxing should be presented. It's the sport network, so it has an advantage because it has sports 24 hours a day. Uh, we're very, very excited. Uh, we'll re be revealing how the other fights on the card, there are gonna be eight fights on the card, and how those fights can be seen in addition to the two main fights. So it's very exciting times for us with all this new technology. It's great. ESP, ESPN did really good, I thought, on the build-up to the Pacquiao fight. They had the commercials, they had them on the ticker tape on the bottom. They really pushed it a lot. Do you, do you see them? Are they doing the same thing? Because I know that was Pacquiao. He's you know a household name. Vasily's becoming that. Are they going to have the same push? Of course, because... ESPN, unlike some other sports, they own this. They own this with us. We're going to develop this in direct to consumer in a very a lot of different ways. So the publicity that uh, ESPN will give this will be enormous, enormous. It'll be the same or similar to the Pacquiao horn fight. And then, particularly when we go to the Midwest, uh, two weeks later, with the Crawford and Dango fight, it's even going to be bigger. So, I mean, this is a real adventure for us, and it's going to help make boxing a big, big sport and not a niche sport anymore. Can you speak on kind of these guys are, are known to kind of be HBO staples, you know, Pacquiao, Lomachenko, and, uh, and Crawford, and now they're doing ESPN. Can you speak on that aspect? HBO is a premium cable outlet, and HBO, together with Showtime, did a great service to boxing because they were the only outlet for boxing. But it's a limited outlet because it reaches just a relatively small number of the homes in the United States because not everybody has HBO, not everybody has Showtime. Everybody has ESPN. Every bar you go into is showing ESPN. When you do an HBO fight or a Showtime fight, bars have to pay a special fee to see the fight, and a lot of them can't afford to do it, so they don't. But here, we, as we saw with the Pacquiao Horn fight, where it's free, everybody is showing it, and they're showing it on every set in the bar. So hundreds of people are watching boxing. Well, that's going to happen with Lomachenko Mariaga. It's going to happen with Crawford and Dango. It's going to happen with all our ESPN shows. How excited are you? that? Because you're from that era where everyone talked boxing, just how they talk football, basketball in the bars. And now, you know, your sport, especially specifically your promotion, is going to be back on there like that. As Yogi Berra said, it's deja vu all over again. <laughs> Could you uh, also just quickly, I know Crawford and them aren't here, but... That's an excellent fight as well with Crawford and Dongo. It's the first unified uh, uh, junior welterweight champion, I want to say since 2009, I believe, something like that. Speak on that and, and just Crawford, the type of fighter who literally just wants to fight the best no matter what. I'm very excited for that fight. I'm very excited that it's in uh, Terrence's home state of Nebraska. I'm looking forward to doing that fight on the campus of the University of Nebraska. It's going to be a great, great fight and a great event. And uh, uh, Votsik is fighting Baker on the principal fight on the undercard. That'll be, Votsik is a tremendous light heavyweight. So I'm really excited. This is just the start. You're going to see something as we go on month after month, year after year, something that's going to be special. But it's great for boxing. It's great for everybody who loves boxing. It's great for the fighters. It's great for the promoters. And we hope to make this as inclusive as possible. Just You said it's great for boxing. It really is. This summer is, this year really, it's just so many great key matchups coming together. It all kind of wrap ups with uh, Canelo Triple G um, at the end of the summer. Yeah, Canelo Triple G is a great, great fight. 
one of the problems with it is people are going to have to pay extra to see it. You know, people can do that every once in a while, and I think the Canelo Triple G fight merits being on pay per view. I really believe that it's a very, very good fight. But a lot of the fights that have been on pay per view don't didn't belong on pay per view. They would have been great fights to offer the people without charge, like the Ward Kovalov fights. Terrific fights, terrific events. They didn't belong on pay per view. So that's what we hope to do. We, are we going to do some pay per view fights with ESPN? Yeah. But we're going to limit the number. We're going to try to do as many fights free for the people as we can. My last question. How much does Mayweather um, McGregor hurt Canelo Triple G, do you think? It's three weeks later. Well, it certainly doesn't, ha it doesn't help being three weeks early. But for me, Canelo Triple G is a fight. Uh, Mayweather and McGregor is a circus. And I don't have a dog in the fight.